Welcome to my garden. I've been watching one of my ghost peppers ripen over the past week or so, and over the past 24 hours I haven't seen any change, so I think it's ready to try the first hot pepper out of my garden this year. So let me cut it off the vine, rinse it, and uh, see how it goes. So here is the pepper. Here it is. Uh, it's relatively small, um, especially compared to some of the other peppers that are growing on the plant right now. Um, so I think it'll make a good test. It's not bright red. It's still, I would call it a dark reddish orange. Um, but again, it hasn't really changed. So I'm talking a lot because I'm nervous, <laughs> but uh, here it is. So I'm just gonna uh, dip it in some fresh water, get any so it's an organic garden, or we adhere to organic practices, but who knows what's in here or what kind of creatures have been crawling on it. So just rinse off some of the muck. Um, and then let's see if I can pull the top off. Cap came right off. Um, so I'm gonna nibble the tip of it to get a sense of the flavor, because I expect after eating the whole thing, I'm not gonna be able to talk very much, but we'll see how it goes. So it's sweet. Don't really taste any spice out of the very tip of it, uh, so maybe it's not entirely ripe yet. There is still a little bit of green uh, color on the skin. Um, but it's sweet, a little bit fruity. Um, pretty delicious. So let's see how the rest of it tastes. Fruity, kind of like a habanero, um, flavor-wise. <laughs> pretty spicy. Um, not as spicy as I was. Oh, it's building though. Okay, <laughs> it's definitely a hot pepper. Um, so the taste is kind of hard to just <coughs> coming through my nose now. <coughs> it's very hot. Mmm. <coughs> Um, excuse me. Okay, so the heat started in my mouth, then went to my tongue, and now it's kind of in here, just kind of roasting. Um, my stomach definitely did not love that. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> it's about 10 minutes later. I had some time to <clears throat> uh, rinse with a bunch of cold water and <laughs> spit a bunch more than I like to do. Um, <clears throat> so that was definitely intense. <clears throat> so right up, so my throat was burning, which made it damn hard to breathe and harder to talk. Right after I stood up, I felt like my skin was itching for a second. <clears throat> um, and then my ears started to tingle. Um, so yeah, that was, a, well, that was a pretty intense stress response, I think. Uh, definitely the hottest thing I've eaten so far. Um, the good news for you, bad news for me, is that I'm also growing a cross between a ghost and a scorpion pepper that's starting to flower. Uh, and I also have a Carolina Reaper at home that is starting to flower. So I don't know what I've gotten myself into. Uh, but it's been fun. Uh, so before I could uh, stop speaking earlier, uh, now that I've had a few minutes to cool off, so the ghost pepper has a really nice fruity flavor to it. Um, there's definitely some heat on my lips still. Um, but so the <clears throat> it's kind of like a habanero taste. Uh, when you first when I first ate this one, there's a flavor that I was trying to describe. It's hard. It, it tastes almost soapy. Like it's a it's a sharp 
um, flavor that I don't, I guess, uh, Sichuan peppercorns, I think, have a similar kind of, I don't know what to call that flavor, but that is, is what I was tasting after the, the fruity floralness started to subside and as the heat was building up. Um, so I still have the fruity aftertaste in my mouth. The, the soapiness or Sichuan pepper flavor has subsided and now it just, it, it's kind of burned. It feels like it's coating, it's coated my throat and is just continuing to burn. Um, my nose, so 10, 15 minutes in, my nose has mostly stopped running from this baby ghost pepper. Um, I can't imagine what its big brothers and sisters are gonna taste like later in the, in the summer. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was fun. So it, um, definitely started with habanero peppers, uh, planted and then one of them died and I decided to replace it with this. I, uh, was ambitious when I did it. I'm glad that I did because now I know what they taste like. Um, we'll see where this journey leads. Anyway, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.